Hello guys, today we have this uh, microwave oven. It is a sharp microwave. It has a problem with uh, the button is not functioning. The unit itself it has no problem. This is the uh, LCD, it's working. The lights also working there. The problem with this microwave is the button is not uh, functioning. So I'm gonna open this and check what's going wrong inside. Okay, let's get started. This is the model Sharp Microwave Oven, model R361G. It is a 1100 watt and 7.2 ampere. Okay, this is the inside of our uh, microwave oven. Move this. Okay, this is the button panel. Okay, I'm gonna try to open this. So yeah, this is the flexible cable. Okay, after we clean, we put all back together. Okay, it's uh, the button still not working. I'm gonna open again. And this time, we're gonna check this panel, the front panel. Okay, now we're gonna open this front. Okay guys, I already opened this uh, touch panel. This is the PCB. There are a rubber elastomeric connector. This is a rubber. Or some people call this a zebra strip. There are a conductor inside this, like zebra. And connecting to the this flexible cable film. And this uh, zebra strip going to here. This is the position. And I believe this film strip, this film connector is connecting to these parts. So I'm gonna peel up this. Okay, I'm gonna check with my multimeter with this uh, diode and continuity test. I wanna see if there's some connection. Check again. Still no connection. Still no connect. Still no connection to here. Okay, guys. Since I don't have this uh, replacement part, this is a, a carbon panel. This is for a sharp model. Maybe since 2013 production, so it's been 10-11 uh, years until now, 2024. So uh, it's very hard to find this replacement. This is a carbon type panel. There are a membrane panel also. I'm gonna try to make from the tactile switch. 
button. The problem is we need to match this flexible cable. As you can see, it has uh, 12 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And maybe some lines already corrosion after more than 10 years. This flexible cable, this film, is connected to the this line also. As you can see, there are two parts. This is for the LCD and this one is for the button. If you count, this is starting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the 12 lines that we need to connect. Maybe I will try to connect with the wire from here or from here. This is very complicated film. It has uh, two layers. As you can see, we have this bridge. This is one layer and below is uh, another lines uh, layer. So I believe it has uh, two layers. It's very complicated. You need to write down the roots. Maybe I will try to make only two buttons, start and stop, which is in this uh, button. Stop and start. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the button stop and start so i'm gonna see where is the line going to to the this line okay i already draw a simple diagram for the buttons this is a simple drawing i drew with these 12 lines we have 12 lines here it's a represent these lines it has 12 lines and also we have also this 12 lines from here into here this is 12 lines it will be connected to the uh, the film also i only focus on these two buttons start and stop if you can see in the panel this is the button this is for stop and this is for start this is the two most important button in our microwave so right now I'm I'm gonna focus on this two only because it's so many lines connected to other buttons if you can see this it has only two contact up and down for up it's like a M letters and for down it's a it's like W letters here so basically only up and down connection in every buttons so for example here this is for a stop button up and down connection so this up lines it's going to the lines number 11 and the uh, down connection it's going to the number three lines it's also connected to the up connection of the start button so this up connection also going to the number three lines so basically uh, for these two buttons we have only one, two, three lines used for these two buttons. For number nine, it's connected to the down connection of the start button. If you have more time, maybe you can reroute all these buttons. So yeah, that's uh, my uh, basic diagram for these two button. I'm gonna try it okay let's get started since the position will be like this this one is uh, number one and this the last one is number 12 one two three 
going to here take one by one this one okay this is number three Make sure you're not making other lines short. This is the correct one. Line 3. And next we need uh, line number 9. Okay, we check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 going to... Going to here. This is for number 11. Okay, let's check with multimeter. We have a uh, number 11 connected. And then this yellow yellow cable is number 11. The brown cable is number 9. 9. Yes. We don't have any short with another lines. And the last one uh, we have a number. Number 3. Yes, we have connection. Okay, I already write down the numbers and colors. Number three lines is for the white, 11 for yellow, and nine for uh, brown cables. Okay, let's uh, reassemble the uh, touching panel. Okay, for now I'm uh, using this tech, uh, tactile switch, tech switch. This leg is the same and this one is the same. So basically there are only two connections, here and here. Okay guys, I already put all the touching panel here and this is the button that we are uh, connecting before. It's a temporary button with the tactile switch button. I want to test if it's working or not. Yeah, let's plug to the power. The LCD is on. This is our two button switch. One for a stop and one for starting the microwave. And for starting, uh, we assign the brown cable here. You can press. Yes, it's uh, working. The fan is moving. Lamps is on. And for stop button, we assign the yellow cable here. Now we can try. Uh, it's stopped now. Let's continue again with uh, brown uh, button cables. Okay, so this is our panel again with the uh, two button attached. Now we are gonna put the button here. These two button. Start and stop. Maybe I'm gonna make a hole here and here. Okay, actually I have this uh, another types of button here. This is a membrane button and tech switch button here, the white one. 
but uh, unfortunately I think this is too small the size is too small but the thickness is correct I need this kind of uh, thickness compared to this one it's a very thick button yeah this one is, is, is too small for the fingers okay this one is a uh, very thick but for the size for the finger is ideal maybe I will cut this if this is too long maybe I will cut this and make a hole here I'm sorry guys I don't have uh, my drill at this moment so I'm using this uh, soldering iron to make a hole This is the left one for uh, stop, this is for start. Ok, I'm gonna try to use this uh, glue gun. And uh, again, I'm using the soldering iron to make it melt. Okay, this glue is very slow uh, hardening so I need to push with the fixed position and wait the glue become hard okay we will wait for a while until the glue is hard we will cut the excess button here later I'm gonna use this double tips Okay, I think we are finished. Let's try. Okay, guys, I think we are finished installing this front cover panel with two button already installed, and this is the the back side. Remember the yellow and the brown cables. Let's plug to the electricity. Okay, the fan is moving. I think is everything is okay now. After uh, we replacing the two buttons here, stop and start buttons with the mechanic buttons. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like this video. It will support me making more videos in the future. And again, thank you very much. Terima kasih. Bye-bye.